Well, Ben, I, it's, it's one of the things that I am really passionate about as far as is the whole area of growing local, producing local, selling local. But also, one thing COVID has pointed out to Canada, I think in Canadians as a whole, is the absolute critical importance of increased food security, energy security, and Canadian self-reliance. Worldwide, it's a major food supply crunch. Canada, with the vast resources that we have, wonderful land that we have, and tremendous producers that we have. And Carlton County and Victoria well, County, York County. You got. This is a perfect example of that. And I must say, I worked really hard at this. Can't you tell, Ben? <laughs> I think this is the box that Margaret picks. I, I have a, with the white shirt. I don't think uh, yeah, that that's. We can't give Margaret all the credit. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's still working in the background. She's still working she away. Uh, she, she's doing a great job. She's uh, she's an excellent uh, minister of agriculture, and obviously knows this area so well and advocates for food security and the importance of defending our own supply chains. So, not to sound overly political, Ben, but that is something I'm really passionate about. I drive my colleagues crazy about it. I'm on Natural Resources Committee, so of course that involves energy security and the importance of Canadian production. Obviously, we do it in an environmentally responsible way, especially compared to the rest of the world. Why wouldn't we support our own Canadian producers? Same thing when it comes to food. We have some of the best agricultural practices in the world as some of the best producers in the world if not the best. We've got a great story to tell. We need to get Canadian goods to market. We have everything from the MAGA, you know, big corporations like McCain's, or you have the small independent operators and, and people who organically grow vegetables like Tim, who's, who's here today, and the wonderful growth that he's seeing in his local farm. So whether it's a multinational like McCain's, or whether it is a local producer like Tim, it's amazing what they've seen accomplished here and and really the challenge that they're all facing yeah, yeah. is the labor challenges so we need more canadian young people local young people and local people that are looking for employment there's great opportunities in the agricultural field to find work no excuse for anyone that wants to work not to be able to work not always the easiest kind but it's a good and healthy kind and uh, we we'll hope that some great young people Absolutely. looking for summer work will consider coming here and other farms, good job, Ben. Okay. Can't let it go to waste. No strawberry to waste. <laughs> Absolutely. So, anyway, we're excited about it. Thanks for the invitation. No, ben. I'm glad you could make great. it, even just for a quick stop by. And I think that what, something that we've seen is a lot of homesteaders and hobby farmers. It's getting people are getting into beekeeping, getting into keeping chickens, and it can be dangerous sometimes without the education. And that's another reason that we're doing this to show the behind the scenes. Uh, we went to a butcher shop to talk yeah. about okay. People are going to do it. People are going to get pigs and butcher them in their backyard and they need to know how to do it safely and uh, to do it responsibly so they're not making themselves sick or if they're giving it to their family to make their family sick. And there's rules and regulations around that for a reason. And we have some great local laboratories that, that are set up and even new ones like I'm sure you're aware of. I know down in Spearville there's one that's yep. just started and of course the ones that have been in existence for some time. And we need more and more uh, locally uh, produced goods getting to local people and making sure that's facilitated and streamlining the process because what's killing a lot of our agricultural sector and energy and other Canadian producing is sometimes not that regulation is bad but over regulation can stifle the progress that that can happen here so if we can streamline that and also bring the regulation authorities back to more local influences I think our province has plenty of good safeguards. They can oversee some of this stuff, but streamline it, get it back to the provincial hands, rather than everything having to go through federal bureaucracies, which, trust me, could take a long time. Are you gonna feed it to me? It looks, it looks like you're trying to. Uh, All right, can, can you get that on camera, Nicole? Yeah. And he tosses it. I can catch it. Here, look. I'll even de-stem it. I'll catch it. Believe you me. You I'll serious? do it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh that was so close. <laughs> I'm tired. Right, 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 so cool. right in the chin. I'm doing it. So I'm ready. Oh, man, right on the rim. <laughs>